Okay, so I'm a bioinorganic chemist, so I work at the interface between uh, uh, biology, biochemistry, and inorganic chemistry, and also microbiology. And I'm interested particularly in the enzyme nitrogenase. And I'm interested in the enzyme because it, it's able to produce a lot of valuable products. So it, for example, can convert nitrogen of the atmosphere to ammonia. And ammonia is the sort of the major part of a nitrogen-based fertilizer. It can also generate hydrogen gas, which is a nice energy source. And the enzyme also can convert uh, exhaust gases such as carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide to hydrocarbons. And what I'm trying to do is I try to, or my lab tries to generate like principles which might allow us to, to uh, to generate applications for the production of these kinds of products based on biotechnological approaches. Okay, so the, the coolest thing I think our, our lab probably discovered was in fact done uh, by a grad student at my lab at this time who's still with me as a postdoc. And what we did is we discovered that this enzyme, which we have been studying already for a long time beforehand, very, very unexpectedly can convert carbon monoxide into hydrocarbons. So hydrocarbons such as for example propane or butane which are very valuable fuel sources. And so for a long time beforehand it has always been assumed that carbon monoxide is an inhibitor of the enzyme. So nobody ever really had a look if it can actually generate substrates from carbon monoxide. So this was a very very surprising very surprising finding so that we are able to environmental friendly convert exhaust gases such as carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide into these hydrocarbons. I actually was always interested in biology. So very originally when I started to study at the university, I started to study biology with emphasis on, on like zoology and botany. But then actually I started to take some microbiology classes and the professor who gave the lectures was a really, really great lecturer. And he was focused on metalloproteins, which have all these amazing features, which sort of captured my, my attention. And ever since I actually stayed in this area, she working on all sorts of, of, of proteins or enzymes, which contains metal and can catalyze unique reactions. 